Good morning, everybody. This is Liz Schott, Registered Dietitian and Director of Clinical Nutrition here at Jackson Purchase Medical Center, doing another Learning with Liz lesson today. So last week I was talking a little bit about irritable bowel syndrome. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD um, is the um, initials for that and that is such things such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and I know a lot of people um, suffer from both of those things so I thought maybe I could just tell you a few things to do that might help you um, when those things flare up so both of those conditions can cause a person to have a lot of abdominal pain diarrhea, bloating, things such as that. So if you're having a flare up of it, you need to, with your diet, you really need to be more on a, like a low fiber diet. So that means, low fiber means, you know, using white bread instead of whole wheat bread. Um, not eating any like raw fruits or vegetables. Having vegetables that come from a can. Um, with fruit, it's going to be something more like a canned fruit or even a banana is fine to do. Uh, with meats, you just want to bake and broil and grill our meats and not have really high fatty meats um, at all. Now milk is something that some people can tolerate when they have ulcerative colitis or Crohn's and some people cannot. So if a person cannot tolerate you know any kind of, of your dairy products then they may need, need to do some lactose free products there are lactose free milks that you can buy that are already made lactate is one brand lactate even makes like some drops that you can put into milk that takes the lactose out of it um, you can do even you know like I say a soy milk or an almond milk but remember if you do a soy milk or an almond milk uh, they may not have all the protein that a person might need. So you do have to check that out and see how much protein happens to be in that milk product. And if it does not have very much in it, then you're gonna have to increase your protein intake that you have like with lunch and supper. Because eating protein is also very, very important when somebody does have IBD, when they're having a flare up with that. Also on the dairy end of things, if you like yogurt, you might want to make sure that you're getting maybe a total lactose free yogurts. With yogurts, they have some of the lactose taken out of it, but not completely all of it. Um, but so, you know, yogurt is actually a great thing for a person to have. Um, also trying not to overfill the stomach, so they might need to eat like five or six small meals um, during the day instead of three larger meals. Uh, trying to make sure that they're drinking water really well to kind of help to flush the system out and stuff. Um, taking a multivitamin is very, very important because sometimes a person might not absorb all of the vitamins and minerals that might be in their foods when they're having a, a flare up of that. So they, you may need to take a, a multivitamin just to kind of help your body <clears throat> to make sure that you get all of the, the vitamins and minerals that you, a person needs. So then when a person's not having <clears throat> any type of issues, uh, then they actually need to switch to a higher fiber diet. So trying to then include the whole grain breads and cereals, um, whole grain rice, uh, trying to do uh, more of the, the fresh vegetables and fresh fruits at that time. But sometimes they may still need to be careful with say like an apple, you may need to peel it, that apple, that, that peeling may be a little bit too tough to digest, that type of thing. Um, also, uh, you know, you know, just trying to to just try to eat a little bit healthier to help our whole body feel a little bit better. And I know it can be very frustrating when somebody has a flare up of this, and you, sometimes you don't feel like eating anything. But just trying to get anything in that you can um, to help your body be in as good a nutritional status as you possibly can um, can be. So, you know, this is just a few little things to kind of help you out when you have a flare up of this. Like I said last week, a lot of times when the seasons change, people will have more problems with this. So trying to, you know, eat a few things, different types of things in your diet might actually help. So I hope it kind of in increased your knowledge a little bit with that. So if anybody has any questions about this, or if you have any topic that you would like for us to discuss here on Learning with Liz, please just drop us a little note. We'd be glad to talk about that. Um, and I hope everyone has a, a great day. Get outside when the sunshine comes out. It's supposed to be warm up, warm up outside, thank goodness. So I just hope everyone has a great day today.